This mega RV countdown has the brains and the brawn. When people first see us driving down the road, their first reaction is really, oh! From the biggest, most expensive rigs on the road. You could not have it any wider, any longer, or any taller and be legal. To custom upgrades that are pure genius. We put our awnings on a clapper. Press the button. Open sesame. We found the RVs that have no equal, the world's first rolling karaoke lounge. They chase us down the street and try to get in. The best off-road, off-the-grid RVs on the planet. We're designed to not need any of that. The countdown starts now. First up, a rig that gives new meaning to horsepower. At number 10, it's the Equine Motor Coach. <laughs> you like that horn way too much. I love that horn. <laughs> Julie Phillips never dreamed she'd be driving a 45-foot-long, 20-ton rig until her daughter Alyssa got a dream of her own. She's a champion rider with her eye on the Olympics. How's she feel? She's jumping good. She looks great. But getting there means competing coast to coast. You're traveling a lot. Come on, take a ride with me. It's like having your home with you when you're away from home. I traveled 16 hours, and it didn't even feel like it because I was asleep on the bed. <laughs> the two are hitting the shows in a $540,000 custom Freightliner Cascadia. A mega RV so sought after, there's a five-month waiting list. You press a button and a whole slide comes out, which opens up the living quarters. The 420 square feet inside has maple wood and leather. Three TVs with an in-motion satellite system that never loses its signal and a full kitchen with what Julie calls her lifesaver, an oversized fridge. Everybody at the horse shows ends up bringing all their food over to my refrigerator to store it. In the master, Julie went rogue. She cut the size of her bedroom by making the entire slide out a closet. We've actually had four girls living in here, and they were able to put all of their clothes up and not have suitcases anywhere, which is amazing. Their Cascadia has room to sleep six humans up front, and in the back, two horses. And that's the reason I bought the rig. It took six months to customize Julie's RV, and half of that was spent on the horse apartment. There's a non-slip hydraulic ramp for easy loading and unloading. Spooked and stressed horses don't compete well, so cameras and an infrared system watch over them. When you're driving down the road, you can have the infrared on at night so you can still see your horses. You need to have an RV with horsepower, and I have horsepower. <laughs> the engine's a Cummins diesel with 600 horsepower. They don't get any bigger on an RV. So no surprise the sight of Julie behind the wheel tends to cause a stir. They can't believe that, you know, this girl's getting out of this rig. I love it. I absolutely love it. From an RV that's best in show to getting your game on at the stadium. Our next rig was custom built for the sport of tailgating. At number nine, it's the Varsity. Most guys dream of a man cave, but not Bill Rickoff, he wanted a fan cave. It's an idea that came to him after spending 25 seasons cheering on his college team. I love being in the games with my friends, having a good time, and uh, this lets me do it in high style. The Varsity is a Winnebago shell. The redo took three months and nearly $300,000. The thing so popular, so mega outfitted for sports fans, Bill put 25,000 miles on it last year. We've been from coast to coast, from the Super Bowl to the BCS to Daytona. 
The party starts inside, where the 725 square foot coach has five flat screens, a full bar with room for 100 bottles, a sub-zero to keep beverages at a perfect 34 degrees, and three beer taps. You can get an ice cold beer anytime you want. You're never more than a couple of steps away. Because the Varsity's an RV, it's got the after party necessities too. There's a full kitchen with an ice machine, a full bath with a TV, of course. Bill opted not to have a master bedroom, but the leather couches do double duty. Pulls right flat into a bed, sleeps four comfortably. One of the coolest things we did on the Varsity is we put our awnings on a clapper. And look, now you're going to get a patio right out here. Beautiful. Outside is where the Varsity really scores. The video wall is a tailgater's dream with four flat screens that can show four different games. Hungry? The Varsity pulls an oversized gas grill. Need a drink? There's an outdoor bar. It's a stainless steel bar that pulls right out of the side. I just drop the leg, pop it into position, and we're ready to party. The Varsity's been on sports shows, in newspapers and magazines. Bill's idea of a fan cave has become a full-time job. When you're playing on the Varsity, you've really made the game. From the life of the party to having mega room for a party of six. Up next in our countdown is the fifth wheel that makes all the others look small. At number eight, it's the Lux Family Camper. No matter where we are, if we're roughing it or if we're in the best campground available, we're always comfortable. When Brian says his family likes to camp, he's holding back. He, wife Janine, and their four kids hit the road nearly every weekend. And on the back of their truck is a fully loaded Elk Ridge Ultimate. When people first see us driving around the road, their first reaction is really, oh, it's so big. But frankly, it handles so well, you forget it's back there. At 42 feet long and 15,000 pounds, there's no bigger fifth wheel in its class and no roomier. Four supersized kickouts give the Walchek family 420 square feet inside. I'm six foot two, so when I stand up, I know I'm not gonna bump my head. This is not your granddad's fifth wheel. All the couches are leather, the woodwork's cherry, and there's an entertainment wall. You got big TV, stereo, and the fireplace down below. It does put out a ton of heat. Oh, thank you, honey. You're welcome. Everything in this $53,000 rig was designed with the four kids in mind. From the double sinks to the big fridge and fun to use trash. Drop everything in and off we go. But what makes the Elk Ridge truly mega is the floor plan for sleeping. My husband and I have our personal suite up our staircase, and it's all our own space and our own bathroom. It's wonderful. So mom and dad are up front, and the kids, they're not on pullouts in the living room. The RV features the biggest bunk room in the business. Four individual bunks plus a half bath just for the kids. There's real hard doors that you can close and keep the kids in their space. It's time to get in bed. When the sun's up, it's the upgrades on the outside that Brian and his family love best. An old-fashioned cookout is anything but. Check this huge door out. When your RV has an outdoor kitchen. Who wants to be cooped up inside cooking? We want to be outside grilling, cooking. It's outstanding. Let me get the seasoning. Got to heat something up that's not grill friendly? There's a microwave. these back in the fridge. It's wonderful to cook outside. It has everything we need, even running water and a refrigerator. It is perfect. Weekends are mega fun now. 
And with an RV that sleeps 12, nobody's whining about cabin fever. It's got a space for everybody in my family. Everybody's got their area, and even if we're all stuck inside, we've got plenty of space. 22 years old. He's completed that path. Living the fast life. Yeah. See how this NASCAR champ recharges when his home is the track. We're breaking away from the countdown to get mega with a NASCAR champion. Trackside in Kentucky is the go-to rig for racer Ty Dillon. It's the Fleetwood Revolution. 10 months out of the year, Ty's gripping the wheel of a race car. I've done it. He's completed that pass. The days are long with more than 100 laps. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! And the closest thing to home is his 44-foot, 44,000-pound Fleetwood. The thing I love the most is just being able to get away and just kind of cool your mind and ease your mind. A little hydration for the weekend. Uh, motorhome is the total package. The Champs Motorhome stretches to more than 300 square feet. And it's loaded. Wall-to-wall -wall cherry, leather couches, and four TVs rigged for gaming. Anybody who wants to challenge me, I can usually beat them. We're not winning. It's not fun. <laughs> The 22-year-old didn't skimp on the kitchen either. And yes, he does use it. He does a little bit of cooking. I've actually caught him cooking breakfast, and it smells pretty good when he's cooking breakfast in the morning when I come in. Sarge Hughes is Ty's driver. It's his job to get the rig, motored by a 425 Cummins turbo diesel, from track to track. I have no problem pulling hills or getting around vehicles, passing trucks. So it's a very comfortable ride. Ask Sarge what Ty likes most about his mega RV, and the answer's pretty simple. If it's 80 degrees here, it's probably 120 degrees inside the race car. So needless to say, one of Ty's favorite things in the motorhome is the air conditioning. The racer wanted three different zones in the RV. So it could be a meat locker in the back and an igloo up here. The back is Ty's master, a king-size bedroom and bath. That's a place where I can get away from everything and kind of relax and and regroup my thoughts and be rejuvenated for the next event that I have in my day. Outside, Ty wanted the ultimate pit stop with instant shade, a rollout cooler, and of course, another TV. But every bit of it's part of his race strategy. I think if you can escape for just 30 minutes to an hour, it makes you a better driver and you're ready to go by the time you have to go race. Switching gears now from the NASCAR circuit, to a mega workhorse hitting the wide open ranges out west. At number seven, it's the world's only ranch hand RV. Come on, Elsa. Let's go. Good girls, good girls. Let's go check the cabs. When Darren Fink moved to Wyoming, he needed a rig as tough as his cattle ranch. Something that could handle 44 miles of back road and off-roading as far as the eye can see. It's really a great working RV. Lets me calve, lets me drive around the ranch for pleasure, lets me go into the mountains if I want to, whenever I want, any time of year. His ranch hand RV is a German 1980 Unimog chassis made by Mercedes. The box on the back is steel and composite with solar panels on top. Darren built the thing himself with $40,000 and a year of tinkering. City people get to build hot rods. I live in the country, so this is what I've spent my time on. I have most of the comforts of home in 84 square feet. The woods oak and all Darren's handiwork. And he had just enough room for a queen bed. Two people can sleep in it very comfortably. One guy and two dogs fit real well, too. There is a toilet but no shower. If you need a shower, there are creeks around you can bathe in. The kitchen covers the basics too, but it's the fridge and beer inside that Darren calls his mega feature. This refrigerator is different than standard RV fridge. It does not run on propane. It is strictly a DC fridge. It works great off my solar panels. That's cold beer from the sun right now. The Ranch Hands turbocharged Mercedes engine has 168 horses 
add the 44-inch tires and that Unimog chassis, and you've got an RV built for the wild. The axle housing itself is far above the center line of the tires, and that's what gives you this phenomenal ground clearance, 19 inches of ground clearance from the bottom of the differential to the ground. It lets me go just about anywhere I need to go on the ranch. For a guy from Baltimore, this is my kind of cowboy. One of only two in America. It's a Goliath with cutting edge tech. We can go anywhere, stay for as long as we like, and we don't need to plug it in ever. We're kicking it old school as our countdown continues with a Dill Green classic from the 50s. At number six, it's the Pickle. It's a rainy day in Hardwick, Vermont. Woo! It was a pickle! <laughs> but the Pickle's drawing its usual excitement. The Pink Pickle! The 1957 flexible Starliner is the tour bus for Rick and the Ramblers, a local swing band. We just love to pull the bus right up next to a stage and do our show. BB King had one. That's good enough for me. So I looked around for years and years to find this. Only 64 of the raised roof model were made. Less than a dozen still exist. Rick paid $12,000 for his mega throwback and then spent another 36 getting her on the road. You got to kind of plan ahead for hills. You get going real fast and then hope the momentum carries you up the hill before you have to put it in low gear. The Pickles got a 534 cubic inch Ford V8 under the hood and inside she's total vintage. People were a lot smaller back then as opposed to today. <laughs> not sure whether I'd roll off here or not. The band doesn't do a lot of sleeping on board. The Pickles, their dressing room, a place to hang, be inspired, and a way to arrive at gigs in mega style. We've gotten great reaction from it. I was very, very fortunate to get it. Some RVs keep the past alive. Others break new ground. Our next mega RV is the latest in self-sufficiency. At number five, it's the Patagonia. Matt Goldberg and his wife, Raina, are New Yorkers who like to get away from the gridlock by going off-grid. They got themselves a Patagonia, a vehicle that can escape civilization for months, even years. With the solar power and the generator, we can go anywhere. Uh, stay for as long as we like, and we don't need to plug it in ever. Custom built from the ground up, Matt and Raina's rig is one of only two in the U.S. It's a Freightliner truck chassis with a near bulletproof box on the back. We can take this RV from Death Valley to Alaska, no problem. We can go through everything from fording small rivers to going up and down mountains, wherever we want to go. and leave it to New Yorkers to maximize every square inch of living space. I wanted to make it like my house, but like a mini house. At 140 square feet, there's cork flooring, LED lighting, and stainless steel in the Euro kitchen. She also made sure that Tiny Master got a king bed and that friends and family can escape with them too. We had them design us a stowaway bunk. This will hold the weight of a full-size adult. This also is a uh, full-size bed, so we can sleep uh, double-decker there with destinations that can be truly mega, they needed one more upgrade inside. A window as big as the wall. The window wall opens really easily. I mean, and that's, that's one of the real good features of the truck. It basically just gives you a feeling of being outside. The Patagonia is outfitted with a 350 Cummins engine for power. And because it's eight feet wide and 34 feet long, special cameras to help Matt and Raina navigate. So one of the coolest items we have is we have these built-in cameras here. Uh, they are aimed at each wheel so that we can tell from in the cab exactly where the wheel is placed in the road, especially on little roads. So this really helps us allow us to be more safe. 
Customizing the Patagonia took more than six months, and the final price tag? $450,000. What we love about the RV is the independence that it gives us. We can just go anywhere that we want to go at any time that we want to go there. This rig's got massive space inside and out. It actually has a garage with our car in the back. Resetting our mega countdown. Coming in at number 10, it's the Equine Motor Coach. Girl. With an automated gate, cameras, and feeder, this rig's as cush for the horses as the humans. Number nine is the Varsity. Tailgaters can pour from three different beer taps and blame their double vision on the video wall. At number eight, it's the Lux Family Camper, the very first fifth wheel to have a full-size bunk room. It's time to get in bed. Number seven on our countdown goes to the German Unimog that's now a rancher's best friend. That's cold beer from the sun right now. The pickle with its can't miss it green on the outside and vintage inside grabs number six, while number five goes to the Patagonia, New York to Dallas in one tank, and staying on the road is optional. We've still got three RVs to come worth a total of $4 million. But first, a behemoth rig with room for some jaw-dropping cargo. Coming in at number four, it's the Double Decker. Wherever we pull up, people always come up to us and ask us, is that a motorhome? 45 feet long, weighing 27 tons, Steve Manganilli's rig looks more like Optimus Prime than motorhome. It actually has a garage with our car in the back. But not just any car. Steve races stock cars, so the Double D has mega upgrades in the back. And in the front, too, because Steve doesn't travel alone. Wife Tammy and five-year-old Dylan are part of the pit crew. Sometimes we're on the road for weeks at a time, and we wanted something as nice as our home to feel like we were at home no matter where we were. Cheers. They spent $400,000 on the show hauler and designed every bit of it on a piece of paper. Inside, the floors are marble, all the cabinets are cherry, and the headroom's so epic, there's even a ceiling fan. When we built the coach, we added nine inches of additional height, which what we did is we actually added extra storage for when you're out on the roads for the long haul. The extra space meant room for a queen-size bunk over the cab. Do you love it? Yeah. The kitchen's got all the extras, including a slide-out cutting board and full-size fridge. But it's the stuff outside that gets this racing family revved up. I'm a guy that loves speed. Under the hood, Steve's got a turbocharged 500-horsepower Volvo that gives the double-decker 1,800 pounds of torque. Any type of speed you want to carry up and down these hills, this is the power plant that you need. And nothing says mega like what's hiding out back. You push the down button, OK? OK. It's opening. This is a one-of-a-kind hydraulic lift gate, remote control, goes up and down and actually closes against the back of the RV. Doesn't even look like a lift gate when it's closed. The two-story garage inside gives this beast its name. The Double Decker has a 19-foot room up top to hold Steve's race car. And down below... OK, Dylan, let's load your car. There's a 10-foot space that's all Dylan. We get to bring all his toys, and we get to keep him busy the entire time we're away. The garage alone cost $30,000 and took months to design. But Steve and his family hit the races at least a dozen times a year. We absolutely love this coach. Worth every penny. From a heavyweight built for racing to a mobile mega party. We're taking a break from the countdown to hop aboard the world's first roving nightclub and karaoke bar. It's the RVIP. What you looking at? When people see this, the first thing that happens is their phones come out, and they start taking photos. And then they chase us down the street and try to get in, and then we let them in. What you looking at? 
and that's the crazy thing. Jonathan Grubb and wife Kestrin got the idea after getting snubbed at an A-list Hollywood bash. Now they are the party with their 38-foot trade winds. It's a moving art installation that is equal parts karaoke lounge, amusement park ride, and kiss concert. And it's the funnest place I've ever been. The fun starts on the outside with more than 2,000 LEDs, all of them computer synced to the cranked up music. When we added those, it became an immediate party anywhere we went. It just shows up on the street and it lights up the whole block. A 300 horsepower cat diesel engine keeps the party rolling through the streets of LA. No closing time, no cover charge. The RVIP lounge creates the perfect party ambiance by getting a bunch of people, putting them into the smallest space possible, and then forcing them to interact with each other and have a great time. In party mode, RVIP holds up to 40 clubbers. A 12-foot slide out gives them an instant dance floor and room to mingle. We just press a button, and the room gets twice as big, and the party gets twice as fun. The kitchen was gutted to make way for the karaoke stage. The shower became a fully stocked wet bar. And hanging lights helped turn the back bedroom into an underwater kelp forest. We consider that sort of the back quiet area where you can get away from the karaoke for a little bit if you met someone that's really cool and you can just hang out and talk. But how do you find the RVIP if it's always on the prowl? Because it's a moving party, we like to tell people on Twitter where we're going to be next. So people, the only way they can find us is to look on the internet and see where our location is. And send thousands of people know where we're going to be tonight. This is the best invention that has ever come to Los Angeles. upon it and it's the most amazing night of my life. Isn't that crazy? And when the night's finally over, the RVIP can give you a ride home. Want a vast and rugged canyon as your backyard? Get one of these and make it happen. Any guy that walks up to the outside, he's happy. Our next mega RV is like a rock star. Everywhere it goes, it draws attention. Coming in at number three, with a look that literally stops traffic, it's the Earth Roamer. What I really like is just the big, expansive scenery. You just see forever. And that entrance is just, I don't know, it's like this grand staircase. Bill Swales is a former engineer, a guy who built military and commercial aircraft and then quit his job to become a wildlife photographer. I can remember at a very young age reading Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn and knowing that I, I, I wanted that type of adventure in my life. Only one problem with Bill's plan. He couldn't find an RV to get him there. A lot of the best photography is in very remote locations. So he built a prototype for this, a go anywhere, do anything pickup truck on steroids, called the Earth Roamer. Starting with the Ford F550 chassis, the rig's custom built from the ground up. There's a V8 turbo diesel under the hood, 6.7 liter. And on the back of the truck goes a 28-foot camper shell, designed like the hull of a boat. No metal, just two layers of fiberglass wrapped around lightweight balsa wood. We don't use any metal in our bodies at all. If you use those in the walls, all your heat is escaping through all those metal conductors. There's 90 square feet inside, and every bit of it's designed to impress. The cabinets are custom cut from maple and alder. The drawers are dovetail, no staples. Any guy that walks up to the outside, he's happy. He sees the big tires, he sees the winches and the lights. Then when his wife goes inside, she says, I can go camping in this. So it just looked enormous, just coming up over the hill and then down, almost like it was coming down on top of us. Oh, wow. It was here in Canyonlands National Park. 
that Annie Stein saw her first Earth Roamer. And I just thought, wow, what is that amazing thing? And I just was blown away. Annie now works for the company. But she was shocked to see an RV at home on the rocks. This is how you make firewood with a normal RV. Earth Roamers built to play. The whole truck, or just a corner, can lift eight inches. And everybody wants to know about those tires. They're just astounded by just the massiveness. These are 41 inch, 26 ply military tires. The factory tires are about six inches wide. These are a foot wide. Get stuck? No problem. There's a 16,500 pound remote controlled winch on the front and back. And yeah, Bill's used it. 30, 40 feet up the road, there was a huge rock. I was able to put a strap around that, hook the winch cable to it, and just pull right out of it. The Earth Roamers even got a night vision camera in the front grill. But the beast treads lightly. All it needs is the sun and diesel, thanks to solar panels on the roof. No hookups, no plugging in. There's no other rig like that that can get you where you want to go and then have everything you need when you get there. Inside, the basics include leather couches, a king-size bed, 32-inch TV, convection microwave, touch faucet, and hot shower. In the Earth Roamer, it's what you don't see that impresses the most. Push a button and the couches become a queen bed. Need extra counter space? It's behind the pillows. Over here is our all-important coffee bar with coffee maker, storage for coffee, coffee mugs. And then for the end of the day, we have a wine cabinet, storage for wine bottles, wine glasses, and all the wine tools. And when you step outside, the most rugged landscapes become your patio. There's an electric awning for shade, 42-inch satellite TV, and grilling station. Smells good. It does. Man, I'm really starving. The price tag for this mega off-roader starts at just under 300,000 and goes up to 600. The Earth Roamer is really for people that don't want to pass life by. It's just amazing, this wide open, beautiful space. No one else around because you've been able to get here. It's a special vehicle. If the Earth Roamer's the brawn, then our next RV's the brains. Geeking out at number two, we've got the high-tech Titan. Grant Kernan has two obsessions, his family and his tech. His $1.7 million quad slide Newell combines the best of both. For me and my family, it's all about being together, and this RV really allows us to do that. Let's start at the door. Trigger the doorbell or the keypad, and everything opens automatically hands-free. The first time my son saw it, he thought we were looking at a flying saucer or something like that. Inside, the RV stretches to 550 totally gorgeous square feet. Yeah, the space is incredible. This is bigger than my first apartment. And probably a whole lot nicer. From all the leather to the heated marble floor trimmed with copper and the mahogany woodwork, this is mega at its best. From the ground up, it's completely customized. And because Grant's rig is called the high-tech Titan, you can bet it's all controlled with the touch of a button. Basically, this is the brains of the coach. And it really just allows me to monitor what's going on with my full coach right here in this one little system. Rather be mobile? Grab the smart pad. If we wanted to watch a TV, you can select all the different devices. I can go ahead and, and lower all the shades in the galley. I can hit the light master, and all the lights come off. But the Titan's new trick is the self-leveling floor that makes the slide-outs disappear. There's no step-ups. So we have almost 42 linear feet of flat floor space in this coach. Of course, the kitchen has all the latest gadgets, too, from a sub-zero fridge to induction stove and touch faucet. Me and my wife love to cook, and so having a really nice 
kitchen and galley area in this coach was really important to us. Also important, something really cool for the kids. So Jack and Ella got this. Triple stack bunk beds with privacy curtains and flip down DVD players. The kids love the bunk beds. They like to climb, they like to have their own little cubby spaces. And mom and dad's master is right next door with a 47 inch hideaway TV, full marble bath. And cause every room's gotta have tech, a remote controlled door. Kids wanna come in and watch a movie with us. We just hit the door open, they can come on in, the door slides open and, and they can come on in. Even the queen bed moves with a push of a button. The bed flips up, gives us plenty of storage space underneath, just any extra supplies that we think we might need. Outside, Grant wanted his mega RV to look mega different, so he brought in a design team from Porsche. And they actually came and, and helped design this beautiful front end cap. The front's chrome with LED pearl lights. It's just gorgeous. Weighing in at 65,000 pounds, the high-tech Titan gets its power from a Cummins 600. It's the largest diesel in the industry. It provides all the power you need for getting up and down uh, these hills in, in the Ozark Mountains. And one final upgrade. Gotta mention the dashboard view from behind the wheel that looks like you're flying a 747. You can see that's more of an avionics setup. That's more of a traditional setup. And that's just the straight data. So when Grant and his family say they like to spend at least two weeks at a time in their custom RV. I mean, it's just incredible. I just love it. Who wouldn't? The average house in America has a price tag of nearly $250,000. Our number one mega RV will cost you that nine times over. It is truly a mobile mansion. Let's reset our Mega RV countdown, driven by Safeco Insurance. So far, we've got our geek on with the high-tech Titan. From the ground up, it's completely customized. A $1.7 million rig that's totally interactive. We've partied aboard the RVIP, the world's first karaoke lounge on wheels. That's the crazy thing. For the wannabe racer, gotta love the mega upgrade on the double-decker. It actually has a garage with our car in the back. But if it's uniqueness you want, the go anywhere, do anything Earth Roamer was countdown gold. The Earth Roamer is really for people that don't want to pass life by. And don't forget the pickle, a Vermont throwback touring with the band. But we've saved the most extravagant for last. So what does it take to be the number one RV on the Mega Countdown? How about five-star luxury with crystal chandeliers and heated granite bathrooms at $2.2 million? In the number one spot, it's the Mobile Mansion. We're footloose, fancy free. We have a lot of fun out on the road, and we're not homely bodies. We like to travel. What's not to like? When Richard Haddock, his wife Linda, and their dogs Bruno and Reagan travel, they're riding high in one of the planet's biggest, most luxurious RVs. It's the 45-foot-long, 57,000-pound Millennium Prevo. You could not have it any wider, any longer, or any taller and be legal. Just the oversized chassis on this rig costs $700,000. And the paint job, another $25,000. Now for the fun stuff, we're we're going to open this boy up. We're going to put the slides out, which will make it get much bigger. Four slides at an extra 400 feet. We now have a larger living area. And every inch of it was custom built for Richard and Linda. There's imported granite on the countertops, heated granite on the floors, and those high gloss walls and cabinets are olive ash burl. And then we do cook some, not a lot. But you've got a microwave and then a little cooktop here. Called a hideaway galley, the kitchen's got a full-size fridge because Linda may not cook a lot, but she does entertain. And when the guests are gone, get a load of her sanctuary. That's a crystal chandelier, the first ever requested in a Prevo. This is mother of pearl back here. I just absolutely love this. I think it's just gorgeous. 
the TV's 42 inches, one of four in the mega RV. Now we're going to the room that I spend the most time in. Just ask my husband. I love my bathroom. There are two bathrooms in the RV, and both are wall-to-wall -wall granite with pearlized glass sinks and high-tech toilets. It washes. It dries. You can set the temperature of the seat. It'll do everything. Just ask my husband. <laughs> he says, Lynn, I'm scared of that thing. <laughs> Richard would rather talk about the mega gadgets up front. We sort of live and die by this thing. There's a dashboard cam for the driver and full monitoring system. I can tell you the air pressure on all the tires all the way to the rear and the temperature of them. Everything on this multi-million dollar coach can be run by a touchpad or smartphone, including the four zones of AC. It's 66 degrees in the rear, 61 in the center, 65, 68 up here. And when guests come to visit... Let's see if my wife's paying attention. There's even a video doorbell. Hi, honey. Sweetheart, you going to stay in all day and night and help us uh, set up the camp tonight? Well, that depends on what's in it for me. <laughs> Richard and Linda spend four months out of the year living the RV dream, so the toys outside their rig are as impressive as the inside. We have a 55-inch big screen TV, LED, and we also have a full sound system, CD, Blu-ray. Most important, we have a wine cooler. Holds about 26 bottles of wine. That'll keep me in wine until I get back. All right, we got, we now have wine. It is truly a, a mobile mansion. It's a lot of fun. To the great outdoors. Great outdoors. 